Hi everybody, it's Peg from Peg's Bits and Pieces. Let's make some art. Today I am doing another video hop with many of my artist friends here on YouTube and the information will be listed down below in the description box. If you click on the very first link, it'll take you to the first video and then just do likewise as you follow through the videos and you'll get through all of the hop and um, they're short videos just sharing information or a technique or you know something each of them has to share and it has to do with everyday art and I left it open for their own interpretation so there's any number of interpretations of that particular hashtag. I'm going to talk to you today about everyday art. This is some everyday art that I had done about a year ago um, the challenge then was to use just these um, index cards, and it was index card a day. And so for the month of June, we did an index card a day, and I have videos out there for all of these. But you can see these are small inspirational pieces, and now I have this to go back and look at and say, oh, yeah, I did something here, and I, I kind of like this, but I want to embellish or do something more. Um, you know, just have all of this to inspire me to create further things in the future. So I just put them all onto a little um, ring binder and I hang that up in my studio. And now I have all of this for inspiration. Now, many of you have your own methods for inspiration. And I'm just going to talk to you about a few of the things that I do. Um, this weekend, excuse me for the crinkling, this weekend I was at an event. Uh, it's the Stamp Scrapbook Expo. In, I was in Milwaukee. And um, my friends had not played with the Distress Oxide inks. This is one thing that gets me excited. Um when I go to play is a new product that I want to play with. And so I might pull out something like a new product and just have a go at it. And so these are those distress oxides. What I have done is I have taken the ink and put it on the edge, put the name on the edge, put a pad on the bottom of each of these so that they're ready to roll whenever I'm ready to play. And so what I did was I created some tags using these Distress Oxide inks while I was sitting and playing with my friends at the expo. Um, what they do is they have um, what's called a crop area, and you can purchase a seat in that area all day, like from 8 o'clock in the morning till about 11 o'clock at night, you can craft. So that's what we do is we take some things in, and we just craft and so you can see I was making some distress oxide tags these are just background things playing with the different colors and seeing what I could come up with uh, playing with distress oxide now that's one new product then I think about um, other products that I might want to play with um, I had gone to the discount store and I picked up a few things, you know, like this ephemera that, um, you know, inspires me to do something like on a tag here. So you can take these tags now that you have a background for, and I can just take these pieces and I could color on them or I could do, okay, let's just take this one, for example. I could take this and I could start doing some kind of layout here using these different pieces on this tag and this one looks like it belongs over here on that and you know I look around and I say I might no I don't think I want that there you know and so you just play until you get something going the way you want it to go that might hang off the edge or it might go on that i think i like it on that um you know so 
you can come up with, oh, this is better. I like that. I think I want that somewhere else. Maybe on that one. Oh, two people. Let's get the two in there for a couple, right? And like this. And you just play and have fun and create your tags. That's what you can do with just a simple grouping of ephemera that gets you going. Um, here's a nice butterfly. Here's a ruler, you know, all kinds of things in these ephemera packs. Or you can just use things that you've cut out of magazines. Uh, you know, if you have a lot of magazines, I don't have magazines. Um, I get most of my stuff electronically. Although you can print things electronically, um, I just soon use these things that are all ready to go and go on to a background. So let me set this stuff aside and show you a little bit more about my play and how I do everyday type of art things. So those were my distressing tags and a little ephemera. Let's look at something else that inspired me this weekend. Um, I had gone to a class and, you know, okay, you're saying, why are you going to a class? You could teach this stuff. Yeah, I know. But sometimes you get a spark of inspiration from it. I hadn't worked with the distressings, the regular distressings for a while because I've been using more permanent inks. And I thought this would be fun because it was supposedly an advanced, advanced background layering class. And so these are the cards that I had made in that class. And then uh, in the class, you get the stamps and a coupon to go back to the store and buy something. So I was inspired by this crackle background because I thought, well, how cool is that? So my class pretty much paid for itself because she came out with product in the form of stamps and things. And then I can take something like uh, one of these tags and I can add, let's see, let's do a brown. Let's get the walnut. And I can just ink this randomly. And this is kind of a crackle wood finish. So I thought, well, that would be cool on something. So I'm just going to you know, put this down on here, slightly go over it, not make sure that I have everything, but you can see now that there is a, and maybe you can see that there is a crackle on the background of this. And so that creates another bit of dimension on there. And I can come back with my tool and add some of that same color onto the edges of this particular tag and that helps tie things together and creates a little more interest and then you can go ahead and add some more things okay and I think I need just a little bit more right here. Yeah. Okay, so inspired by this background stamp and a class that I had taken. Speaking of classes, there are any number of classes that are available to people. Um, I'm thinking about the classes that I'm taking currently. I have some classes with Craftsy. Um, I'm taking a class with Olga Furman Art. It's called uh, Paint Your Heart and Soul. Um, I've taken classes with Dina Wakely and CC and Skillshare and Donna Downey and Interweave and N Studio, Christy Tomlinson, Artist Network, 
Art to the Fifth Academy, you know, the, the list goes on and on. And these are all things that are offered online. You don't necessarily have to go in person like I did for this class. You can take these classes online. And many of them are free. Um, I have a group on Facebook. Uh, it's Art Joy of Sharing. And on there, I'm encouraging people to list all of those free inspirational art classes that are available. And I have started a list there for you. So if you want to come and join me there, um, feel free to do that because uh, I like to share information about art and how to find things to help inspire you. So one of the other things I wanted to talk about were... Uh, books. I went out to my local Joanne store and I found this book about drawing faces and it has a lot of information in here. And so today when I was sitting with my husband in the doctor's office, I was sketching and I was using some of the illustrations in this book to help do my help do my illustrations while I was sitting in the waiting room. So books are very inspirational. Uh, in addition to books, there are many other YouTube channels, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, uh, just getting inspiration from product. But you can see many, many places for inspiration. I hope you feel inspired by watching what I have done today. I hope you follow along and click on the links below and see what other inspirational art, everyday art, is out there for you. Thanks for now. Bye.